Up next on Live It Up, we have David and Francisco, wonderful brothers that are filmmakers. Welcome to the set. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. Glad to have you here. I met you through uh, casting director Donna McKenna. Yes. And she told me that your film is outrageous, uh, that you're really working on something that you have a Kickstarter campaign for. Yes, yes. correct. And what is the name of your film? It's called The Next Page. The Next Page. Yes. And what is The Next Page about? It's about a young eight-year-old boy who's battling cancer and, um, you know, it kind of documents his struggle not only with the disease but also on a personal level and how it affects his family and the people around him. And what inspired you to do this film, Francisco? I think a lot of our family members were diagnosed with cancer and last year we had our grandmother in the hospital over a whole year or so we, we spent a lot of time in the hospital and we saw a lot of experiences and a lot of the things that we wrote in the script actually are things that happened to us. Oh, it's part saw. like a biography or, or part of Somewhat autobiographically, somewhat. yeah. Oh. Very nice, and I know that there's uh, so there's the hero, yes. right? And uh, and then you also have a, a young lady that that works with him. Tell us about that moment. Well, one of the you know the film is obviously an eight-year-old boy in an environment like a hospital is overwhelming experience. Um, so one of the things that we did was we brought in an other child that's also dealing with the same experience. And central to the film is that relationship between how she um, helps him overcome that struggle, helps him learn to combat the circumstances. Um, art therapy becomes a major part of the story um, in many ways and that's one of the ways that they escape from that reality and they kind of create this, this you know, they, they're able to live their childhood despite the trauma of the circumstance. Now have you thought about doing like some research with like St. Jude's Hospital or like what, what process are you going through in terms of like really getting down to that characterization for this project? We spoke to a couple of um, nurses and hospitals and they gave us some um, uh, basically some ideas of what goes on in the hospitals and well, like I said we were in the hospital for a year so we got to see a lot of... Yeah it was a very intense uh, research process because obviously you know cancer this is a lot of specificity with the kind of cancer in this case it's a ALM and um, you know, we would contact nurses, ask them questions, you know, does this happen, is this plausible? What is the experience of living in a hospital, uh, you know, art therapy? What is that? How does that work? How does it work within a hospital context? So we did a lot of research. I mean, we, wrote, we were writing the script for two years hmm. before we actually showed it to our producer, Janice Villarosa, and then she's been helping us kind of get everyone on board. Donna's working on it now. Uh, so it was a very intense writing process, and then it was... You know, now we're now we're actually starting to get the pre-production process underway. And is it a feature? Is it a short? It's a feature. It's a feature. Yes. Excellent. And what are you planning on shooting it on? Well, the goal right now is October, November. We're in early stages of casting. We recently spoke with Kathy Moriarty, who started Raging Bull. Um, there's still some negotiations going on with her to be involved in the project. And then, you know, Donna's kind of looking at the children right now. And then we're going to go into more of the, the boy's father, the boy's mother. Uh, so, there, you know... We have a tentative October, November, maybe December. It all depends, obviously, on a lot of other factors coming in. And of course, as you mentioned, we have a Kickstarter to try and get the finances. So it's, there's a lot of factors that still need to come together before we can actually say green light. A lot of people think that you're just going to go out and, you know, you're going to write a script, you're going to shoot a film, and that's it. <laughs> obviously. No, it's, not, it's nothing like no. that. And, you know, we came into understanding that circumstance, and yet we're still learning so much about how much more pieces, how many more pieces we still have to put together. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I think it's fabulous that you've taken on this project and that you're working together. Uh, and as brothers, do you find that there's a synergy and a goodness between you two? Or do you, like, not agree on everything? Oh, no, no, no. We, Sometimes we don't agree on things. But the thing is, we've we've worked together for so many years. We, were, we first started as musicians together. We worked a lot on that. And that created the discipline to work together. So we've been able to... You know, find we, found, that we find that balance. You know, we there are some times that we disagree, but that always happens. And are you doing your own music for your film? No, no. Oh. <laughs> no, we have a friend actually, um, Andres Soto, who did all of the music for our films, and we've actually played in a lot of our scores. So we'll probably do something like that in this one. And as accomplished filmmakers already, um, how can people find out more about you? You can go on the next page film dot com, uh, which has our bios, our producer, our directors. Um, we can also go on Facebook uh, and Twitter and, of course, Instagram as well. And we have, like I said, a Kickstarter campaign to try and help us finance the film. You can go through kickstarter.com and search the next page, or you can go directly to the nextpage.com, and there's a little uh, area where you can just click and it'll send you to the Kickstarter. For a certain level of sponsorship, have you thought about having somebody be able to, like, walk in on set and, and earn a part? If you haven't, I think that's something that will definitely... 
uh, you know, everybody wants their 15 minutes of fame, right? Of right? And so I'm not saying you have to write them into a big part, <laughs> right. but I bet if you want your Kickstarter to be really successful, you may want to consider that. There, there has been some conversation of some stuff like that. We just haven't really had anything concrete at the moment. Okay, there you go. Well, I hope that helps. And uh, anything I can do to help you, I'd be happy to help you. Thank you very much. So, very thank much. you very much. Uh, if you like independent film, uh, if you like stories, if you like empowering people, I suggest you follow these guys. So thank you very much to David and Francisco for being on the set and stay tuned for more on Live It Up.